This can be really confusing and dangerous. Too many people. In this case, we have a Honey 90 front strut assembly. This is a rear wheel drive model. So this is going to be exactly the same situation on any of those E90, E91, E92, E93, E82. Here's the proper way of taking this, proper and safe way of taking this apart. I really don't have a good reason to disassemble it except for this part that I need to extract. So I figured why not to show how to properly do it because it can be dangerous. Um, this is all dead. There is oil coming out of it. So the proper way to take this apart, the spring needs to be somewhat compressed and the knot that holds the strut to the support bearing needs to be removed. The only proper way to, or safe way, the only safe way as far as I know to take this apart is to use a tool that looks like this. Out of, out of all different tools, I like this the best. Okay, the problem here is that the spring in its uncompressed condition or state is this long. It's, it's rather, has a good preload. So I need to compress the spring. This is the way I figured it can be done. So this lower part gets right here. And the upper one grabs on the upper seat of grabs on the upper seat and this is the way I figured it works for me so I'm going to create more compression This demonstrates that the spring is not really loading um, the strut anymore. So the next step is to remove this nut, which is a 21 millimeter. So I'm going to, so I'm locking this strut with channel locks and I'm going to Here's the knot. Oh, come on. So here's the knot. Kind of old and rusty. So once this knot is removed, things are pretty much just coming apart. This piece of junk. This thing is totally dead. Unbelievable. In any case, this is the strut. I'm not going to install a new strut into the spring, but without uncompressing the spring, anything in the assembly can be replaced. Replaced except for the the rubber, the upper rubber spring seat that is right here. Since I'm not going to install any new strut and I have no use for this spring. I'm just going to, I'm just going to uncompress the spring and uh, and uh, that's pretty much it. Comes out like this. The upper, the spring can be replaced. The upper spring seat can be replaced at this point and I'm going to reuse this part in any case this is uh, this is the tool 
I, I will recommend to use. So these are replaceable, they come in different sizes. So this is pretty much it. Thank you for watching. So after doing the disassembly of the front strut assembly, disassembly of the assembly, <laughs> ah! uh, take two. Here's all the parts that are required to assemble the front suspension. So we have a strut, a lower spring insulator, we have the spring, we have the dust boot, we have the bump stop, we have, oh my god, what is it called? We have a dust shield, we have a washer, we have a lock washer and a nut, and, uh, and yeah, I missed uh, the upper spring seat with an, uh, the insulator, and we have a this paper, sort of a gasket, I guess, or a, another insulator. So that's all that it takes uh, to assemble this together. I guess I will get my hands dirty now and uh, I really have to, really have to put this all together. Here's the difference between regular E90 suspension, bump stop and sport package. There is a difference of, again, of about 10 millimeters.